watermelon sugar. Hair. So you can check the hair there, look. You can see the hair. Nothing too crazy on this one. We're here, we're doing the hair fibers. A lot of people were saying, you know, you've got that long hair now, so why don't you do the hair fibers? So you can see it here, right? Check out the hair. This hair is much longer than it's ever been in like two and a half years. And I thought, hey, this is a good opportunity. I mean, I'm not any better than I was with gone all over the bloody floor. The thing is, imagine doing this every day, like before you go out. Right, I'd say that's about done. Now this was the bit that was difficult before. How do you do the hairline? I'm just spending time and I'm focused on the hair, how the hair's looking, is my hairline right? Does look like I've got more hair. It's like a small window where these things can look all right. Maybe when I very first started going bold, right, I could have used them and it would have been literally like undetectable that I was going thin at the crown. But where I'm at with it now, I've just lost too much hair for it to look good at all. That's where we're at, right, with the old hair fibers. I think I could do with some, a little bit more. So out here we've got some natural light, okay, so this is how, how you can see, this is how they look in the natural light, give you a good look. So we're out here in the elements, right, we've got some wind, we can kind of experience the natural elements as they would be. Now something I do as often as I can, at least three times a week, is go to the gym. So we're going to have a normal workout in the garage gym, obviously it's summer, let's see how that affects things and let's see how these things are looking afterwards. All right. With the old hair fibers let's see what's on i'm gonna let you guys know what i do for my workouts i've been doing the reddit recommended body weight routine for the last oh, at least i think i'm on week seven now strength work three different couplets if you like i'm not doing the core work at the minute basically we've got a squat exercise with a pull-up exercise we've then got a hamstring exercise with a dip exercise so your chest and then we've got a, another push exercise with a row i'm doing press-ups and body weight rows and i've been progressing in this this when i was doing my beginner shrimp squats i, I could literally do like three or four um, i'm now up to seven on each leg for that one i'll soon be up to eight and i'll be able to move on to the next exercise if you want to check out that routine i highly recommend it i've been really enjoying it and i'm going to be completely honest with you guys right one of the things i've been doing is like when you lift right i wanted bigger arms my arms have literally been 15.5 inches around both of them pretty much since I was in university. It didn't matter if I had arm days, if I did super heavy bicep work, all the super slow isolation work, all that stuff, they were 15.5. And I was like, if I stop training arms, so think about here, there's no direct arm work. Like literally the only thing that is doing for arms is the close grip pull-ups, which I'll probably show you in a bit, right? The pull-ups that I do. That's the only like bicep activation that you're gonna get in here three times a week. And I mean, like I said, I've been doing it for like three months, more than, um, almost three months now. And my arms are the same. They're still 15.5. Long story short, guys, I was worried that my arms were gonna get all small because I wouldn't do any bi direct bicep or tricep work. And they haven't, they're still the same. Hair fibers in this light, not very flattering in this light, are they? That could be an issue um for someone that, that uses this stuff so we're going to start off here another thing i've been doing which is like incredibly incredibly important um with this body weight routine what i learned from strength side the youtube channel is my work around flexibility of the scapula it's that flexibility is not the word for your scapula is it that sort of activation of the scapula and being able to move in these motions properly is something I haven't been able to do and I've been easing up by doing these exercises and they've really worked so I highly recommend those also a classic little garage setup lads garage gym mate classic garage gym right music in world out 
kind of true though, isn't it? Let's be honest. For all my people that like a good workout, nice little deep house mix on YouTube we'll go for. How's it going guys? I wanted to throw a little voice over this workout here for you guys. So we're starting off with our pull-ups. We've got five kilograms in this bag. And you know what this is? This is progress. So here we go. We're gonna go for eight reps here with five kilograms. For reference, when I started, I was doing six reps with just my body weight. So what is this? Nothing heroic in this video. I tried to use good form always with all the reps. Nothing heroic here. But what this is, is progress. Right, so I've got eight reps and I'm just about to get my eighth rep here. You can see me hanging for a bit. Here we go. And there we go. We got our chin just over the bar for the eight rep. Boom, little cheeky fist pump. And that marks progress. The next exercise, guys, if you want to humble yourself, you've got to try the shrimp squat. This is the beginner version, the slightly more advanced is by holding on to that leg. Get on this routine, guys, if you if you want to kind of get started with fitness or you want to mix it up. Just checking the hair fibers here, look, we're starting to get a little bit more sweaty. The sort of fiber coming to the front there and collecting on the head. Here's another look at the old shrimp squat. Um, those were coupled with my pull-ups, so I'll do seven or eight reps of the pull-ups, and then I'll do seven or eight reps of the shrimp squats as well. Things heating up, those squats are taxing. Like, they look so simple, just body weight, just on one leg honestly they are really taxing they really humbled me and i'm enjoying it and we're making progress and that's the main thing cheeky little look at the hair fibers here how are these guys holding up oh yeah let's go going on to some rows here guys really like this super simple got some rings off amazon i think i paid 20 quid for these things throw your feet up you know when i started i had my legs down on the floor or my feet rather now i've got my legs elevated and using nice form with the press-ups check out that scapula guys that is the problem issue i've got good job i watched these clips here because i can see that it's still a bit of an issue there you can see the two scapulas not quite even hair fiber check coming at you nice and sweaty guys so i just wanted to show you here as i did this that i did put these hair fibers through a nice rigorous routine right guys we've finished up with the workout and as you can see this is how the hair fibers are looking post workout you can see here we got some sweat and i think the main problem you can kind of see is the hairline, right? When you put those hair fibers on, if you've got it quite thin like me, they kind of go down onto your scalp and then when your whole scalp is sweating, it all sort of rolled down forward and collected here. I've got to be honest, when I first put them on and in this natural light, like from a distance, do you know what I mean? Like they actually look pretty realistic. But I think in circumstances where I was using these to kind of, you know, cover up the bald spot, it does bring more attention to your hair, it brings more attention to the hair fibers, right? And just in general, brings more attention to the whole balding and covering it up in general. And that is what I wanna talk about next, but first, I'm gonna wash these out. How's it going, guys? Welcome back. So we're here now with the hair fibers washed out, and this right here is probably gonna be my last word on the whole hair fiber thing. You know, I wanted to put them in to see how it looked, and let's be honest, in certain angles, it did look pretty good, and it certainly did make my hair look thicker. Now, in my opinion, I still think that hair fibers are pretty impractical, especially as your hair loss progresses and you have less and less hair for those hair fibers to stick to, they become less and less convenient. I wanna state it clear that I've got absolutely nothing against somebody that uses hair fibers. My whole deal is I wanna better understand, you know, why they're used so heavily, and I want to better understand the thoughts and feelings around them. Like, are these things genuinely helping people? And I hypothesized in my previous video that I thought they didn't. I thought that the more you use them, the more you'll rely on them for that confidence. And it turns out, guys, that there is quite a lot of truth to that. And that is what I want to explain here. Now, there's something called safety behaviors or beauty rituals. And these are things I've been reading a lot about in certain titles, such as Feeling Good About the Way You Look and other books written by cognitive behavioral therapists and psychologists who specialize in the area of sort of body image. Guys, you might remember that two things that I did when my hair was falling out and I'm struggling to deal with it, things I did to make myself feel better and to remove, to reduce that anxiety I felt. 
my biggest fear guys was that somebody was going to notice that my hair was falling out they were going to point it out into me or in front of other people and i was going to be embarrassed i feared that embarrassment okay and that made me feel really really anxious especially when i was in my university classes when i was studying chinese so what did i do i had a safety behavior something called a safety behavior right and other things are termed as beauty rituals now i had an example of each of these my safety behavior was sitting right at the back of the classroom with my head against the wall so that no one could sit behind me and point it out right that is an active behavior that i was doing to make myself feel better and to reduce that anxiety as i'm explaining that you can see yeah that, that makes sense another one i did actually like that was when i was walking down the road you've heard me talk about this i'd walk down the road looking at the floor so the top the crown of my head was as high as it could be so that no one else could see me now that obviously wasn't behavior that i did before this is something i developed to make myself feel better to reduce the anxiety by doing so it temporarily made me feel better right i couldn't see if anyone was staring at me or pointing at me or looking at my hair because i was too busy looking at the floor so i couldn't see them do it and that then temporarily reduced that anxiety but long term it didn't help because i kept doing it now in terms of beauty rituals i didn't use any products at that time but what i did do was mess about with my hair and i've made a whole separate video on this this is something that is called a beauty ritual right something i had to do play around style my hair a certain way and that too then reduce the anxiety but what that does is it stops you facing those real fears now that sounds a bit ooh, right but it does, it stops you facing those real fears. I wanna quickly read you a section from this book here. It says about beauty rituals. It says here, avoidance behavior and beauty rituals are the same. They're done to keep your discomfort under control. Unfortunately, the same avoidance behaviors and rituals prevent you from learning to face what you fear. And more importantly, they keep you from finding out that things just turn out okay if you face your fears. This book goes on to give you different methods of how to deal with anxieties around body image and things like that. So it's obviously pointing out that these beauty rituals, these safety behaviors aren't good for that. They don't allow you to progress and really tackle the main issue at hand. Now, obviously through my journey, guys, I sort of developed this stuff naturally for some reason you know i sort of instinctively realized the things i was doing they weren't helping me long term because i kept doing them right so it, it it would temporarily help make me feel better but that anxiety kept coming back when i was back in that situation now unfortunately hair fibers they fit into the same category along with hats right so you might be feeling anxious that someone's going to notice that bold spot as i was and maybe rather than playing with my hair every five minutes i just would have popped on some of those hair fibers and that obviously would have made me feel better no one's going to see it but what if there was times when i couldn't put the hair fibers on or what if there was times when the hair was getting thinner and thinner like it is now that the hair fibers don't work so well anymore i can completely understand why they're so readily used they're very easy to get hold of there's loads of companies out there you can do it yourself you can start using them straight away when you experience a little bit of balding at the crown and there aren't really any known side effects but as i stated i really think that the longevity using these things long term when you use them by temporarily reducing that anxiety you prevent yourself from moving past it long term and ultimately that is the goal you want to feel better long term about your appearance on the whole guys hair fibers not for me i don't think they're a good solution for hair loss they cover things up temporarily and that prevents your long-term progress your long-term growth and it prevents you from becoming happy with your body image guys i hope you enjoyed that video i'm going to be speaking a little bit more about getting out of your comfort zone to move past those insecurities in the next video i do hope you will join me for that one we've still got the hair guys and that is going to feature heavily in that video as the reason to why i've been growing it out for so long guys i really want to thank you so much for watching this video i hope it was interesting and i hope it helped some of you guys and i hope it entertained i'll put the link to the body weight fitness routine down in the description box i really recommend you give it a try especially give one of those shrimp squats a go i will see you in the next video goodbye